Hey YouTube, I recently picked up the Stone lipstick from MAC. It was one of the new um, additions to the MAC lip collection and it is a permanent um, color. This is what the color looks like when I bought and let me zoom in so you can see. Um, when I bought it, I had no idea whatsoever how I was going to use this lipstick or what kind of eye look I was going to um, put with the lipstick. So I just decided to come in here and play around in my makeup a little bit and um, sort of come up with something that sort of went together. It sort of looks monochromatic to me, I think. Um, but if you want to see what colors and everything I use to go with this lipstick, keep watching. Bye. Okay, so for the sake of time, I have already done my brows, but since my brows are a little bit too light dark for me, I am going to um, use this brow set from MAC and Girl Boy. It's really for blonde brows, but I am going to use it to lighten up my brows. And it looks like that, and I will just sort of just sweep it through the brow and you can slightly see a difference Does one look lighter? This one looks lighter. Let's lighten that one up a little more. Alright. So, with the brows done, um, I am going to next just why am I getting too much? Um, spray my face with some fixed plus before I apply my foundation. I need to let the dog out of the room one sec. Oop, and she just went into Darius's room. But, okay, like I said, I am going to just spray my face with some Fix Plus, and it's a new bottle. I finally made it through the other bottle, but just sort of lightly spray my face, and I am going to use the new, um, MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and they match me at NC45 which I think they match everybody at NC45 but I am going to use it. I feel like I need a little more spray. Okay. And I am going to use the e.l.f. blending brush to blend this out. That looks super light on my hand. I swear the lady in the store told me this oxidizes. And I used it once before. And um, that is what it looks like on my face. She said it oxidizes. So we will see. The little brush from e.l.f. I like a lot. I don't like how short it is because I have larger hands. But I do like the way it blends my foundation. And we are really hoping on this um, 
stuff. And then my face looks really light to me right now. I want to trust the girl at the next store. I just don't know. Okay. And I am eventually going to set it with the, um, let's get right there. I am eventually going to set it with the mineralized skin finish. I have it in dark. But I want to, um, do my eyes first and then go back and do my, um, concealer and everything and then we will set it so the next thing that I am going to do is to put um, the Pro Longwear paint pot and lay in low on my lids I have like concealer under the brows but I just want to put something on my lids to sort of cancel out a little bit of the darkness so just using my finger This is all that I want to do to my lid. As far as a base anyway. I have to make sure I get here because I have some serious darkness right in there. So the base is done and um, I'm going to use saddle in my crease because that is my favorite crease color. Most of the um, products that I use today are going to be from MAC. It's just certain products from MAC that I don't have like a concealer. Well I do have a MAC concealer but it's bright. Oh I do have one but we'll go grab that in a second. Um, I am going to use saddle and that is here and you will see my mirror throughout the video and you will sort of see me rummaging through brushes because I don't have them all out and I need to be prepared so one sec. Okay so I am going to take the MAC 224 brush and just put saddle in the crease as my transition color and I used to always say I would never spend the money on a MAC brush but um I decided to spend the money on three MAC brushes three eye brushes and I absolutely noticed a difference with my um, eyeshadow application so I guess you do get what you pay for I think these sort of blend a lot more nicely than some of my other brushes so I am now a fan of MAC brushes at least the eye brushes Now the next brush that I'm going to use will not be a MAC brush because I don't have a MAC brush that I like for my um, under my brow bone. I have a Bare Minerals brush that I like for that. So what I'm going to do next is just put my brow bone color on and it's just going to be Bamboo which is a matte eyeshadow which looks like that. I don't want like shimmery I just want something subtle up under the brow. So, all right, so the brow bone is set, and I am going to grab another MAC brush. And this is the two, no, no I don't want the 221, I want the 217. And I am going to take, um, I don't think I want handwritten yet, but that might be my only alternative. So, we'll see how this works out. I am going to take, um, handwritten. And 
and we are going to sort of go in this outer section here and not go up quite as high as the um, saddle. This is what I'm talking about with the blending. I absolutely love the way these brushes blend. And I think I may need one darker color, which might not be a matte color because I need a black. Take this 224 and just sort of blend here again between the two. bit of a darker color and I need to go and grab that okay so I grabbed my it cosmetics naturally pretty I am going to use the color noir here and then I'm going to just take my Mally brush and put some of it on there on this end of it and just sort of put it right there just to make this little section a little bit darker and then we'll blend that out so just to make it a little bit darker here on the outer corner and just blend that out okay so I think that looks pretty nice what I am going to do now is to grab another MAC shadow it, it is going to be in the color woodwinked and uh, woodwinked looks like this it is a velux pearl it looks like that so like a soft gold color and I am going to put that on my lid Just up to where the black part, the dark part is. And you can't see me do that. This is one of my favorites. This one, Amber Lights, the handwritten saddle. Mostly the neutrals are my favorites from MAC. Okay, so I'm going to take that 
224 brush one more time and blend right in here. bit more saddle to help blend that part out. I think I'm okay with that. Um, I want to do some liner. Okay, so we are going to take the Tartlet Clay Paint Liner, and I am not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do a basic um, line, and I will just squeeze a little bit here, and I think I squeezed too much, but we will make that work. That will be enough for both eyes, so I'm just going to coat the brush all the way around. And I usually start here in the middle. And I don't know if you can see that. So we can zoom in. so I am going to go back into the handwritten now that the eyeliner is on there where's my handwritten this is what you call disorganization or just not being able to see well <laughs> it was right in front of my face but this is handwritten I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lower lash line And I am going to take some more of the wood wing and put that on the, the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to take this end of this brush and do that. just to make the eye a little bit brighter and mascara i'm going to use max extended play giga black lash mascara um let us see i like it because the brush is sort of thin so it's good for the top and bottom lashes
<coughs> one eye. All right, so the eyelashes are done. My face is looking a little bit plump to me, so I am going to use the um, e.l.f. Contour and Blush Bronzer. I haven't used it in a long time. But I'm just going to put a little bit on this Real Techniques the Expert Face Brush because I don't want that sharp line. I just want something a little bit, just a little bit of a diffused um, contour. And I am so super shocked that this is actually my color. Because usually with these contour bronzer things, they are never dark enough. Put some around the perimeter of my head. Okay, we'll put a little bit here also. Okay, I don't know if my face looks any thinner, but that is done. Um, I am going to take a little bit of what they call the blush in this um, compact. It looks more like a highlight. So that is what I will be using it for just on my forehead and my chin. Because I'm going to use a matte blush on my cheeks. Love Joy, which I think is highlight enough. So we'll just put a little bit of that here. A little bit of that here. And for my blush, like I said, I'm going to be using Love Joy. And I'm going to grab the Real Techniques blush brush to do that. And I like this brush because it keeps me from putting too much color on my face. And it's amazing that I can see this blush here, but I can't really see it on my screen. And I don't know if you can see it on my screen. But it's perfect because I don't want a lot of blush color because of the lip color that I'm using. And that is what we're getting ready to do. I need my lip pencil and I will put the lipstick on. Alright, so at the moment I cannot find my... Um, chestnut lip liner so I will be using Cushy by MAC and hope that it is okay it may or may not work because I think that stone lipstick is um not even in the same color family. Alright, now for stone. And I did put a lip balm on my lip before I started doing my makeup. So hopefully this will not um, dry my lips out. But this is what stone looks like. And we will put it on. My battery is dying. So 
So I am going to change my battery one second. Okay, so battery is changed, makeup is done. I am just gonna spray my face with a little more Fix Plus. Just so I don't look powdery, now I look wet. But that is it you all. I was trying to figure out what kind of eye look would go with the stone. I think that, that this one is a pretty good um match except that i am not i don't think a fan i have to play around with liners with this stone lipstick because i think it makes me look cyanotic i don't know if that's, that's the look that people are going for but it makes me look cyanotic and then it's not in my inner lip enough and i know I'm complaining a little bit but um it feels really good. I think they reformulated their matte lipsticks or something because they are not nearly as drying as like the original Ruby Ruby Woo at all. But this is it. I will zoom in so you can see the combo that I came up to sort of go with this um stone lipstick so if you want to go out and buy it this is what it looks like if you are my skin tone thank you all so much for watching and have a good day bye and just for fun if you wanted another alternative this is another one of the new um matte lipsticks from matt mac <laughs> and this one is called men love mystery and it looks like this and it is a sort of matte version of up the amp but this is what it looks like I put it on with a current lip liner so this is what men love mystery looks like on my lips bye I just wanted to show you that bye